On this episode, E.T. stops by. You keep asking questions, we'll keep answering them. I always awesome. want to do that. <laughs> My man. I always want to do that. Appreciate you, man. Crazy day here in the city. Rain. You know, a lot of uh, a lot of stuff you don't see on Daily V is meeting, 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 meeting. I always, you know, Daily V is the only thing I watch because I have to double check if there's anything bad or incriminating or you know, employee stuff, client stuff. So much information, and I watch it and I'm always like, ugh, like this really doesn't show me being the CEO of VaynerMedia. It shows me being the CEO of VaynerMedia from a culture standpoint, but not the meeting I just had with the CMO of Chase or, or the, the pitch meetings that we have to blur out that you just saw or in, you know, the strategy business meetings that I can't have any other agency out there know and so not there yet with like, you know, gotta figure it out because it's, you know, it's a day like yesterday and a day like today that there's so much CEO work, like building an actual business. So I'm trying to figure it out, maybe, you know, actually, you know what, maybe first time I've asked a question. Very, very cool. Maybe in the comments, help us figure it out. Maybe there's a way where DRock B-rolls it. Here's an idea, B-rolls it, shows that it happened, and maybe there's a way for me to comment on top of it thematically. I don't know, there's a, a final piece missing here of like the stuff that helps a company, like some of the stuff that I do on the salesmanship, the product strategy, the leading the company in the right strategic direction, the four or five things that I've come up with in the last, you know, 90 days that are gonna drive our business, the things we're gonna sell to clients, the things that are gonna help our clients sell things to you. These are real things that are just not being seen here and, and you know, when people ask questions like, what does everybody at VaynerMedia do in the background? They're planning media, they're creating content, uh, they're strategizing of like, does Snapchat matter for your business or not? You know, like, they're, uh, they're, you know, they're doing those kind of things. Like, uh, you know, what does Instagram stories mean for your business? Um, is there a partnership to be done with Uber? You know, how can a, your, your sample integration into Jet.com work, now Walmart, you know? Real stuff that we're not getting through here, so we need to figure that out. Let me know. What's something that makes you nervous? The health and well-being of my inner circle and myself. First, my inner circle, because if my mom was to die in a car accident today, I'm just not sure what I'm gonna do. I don't know. That's the truth. I care about it so much more than business that it would, like it probably would make you unsteady to like know that I believe that maybe that would mean that I would not care about anything ever again and just leave the world. Like I'm very, very all in to like the things that matter. I think it's the way I run this company too for culture, right? Like I just care so much more about this stuff we're talking about than any of the other stuff. I, and, then, and then I just don't wanna die. I, think, I genuinely believe the company's vulnerability is my health and well-being. Like, my, I genuinely believe that if I walk to, I mean this is, I don't know how you're gonna, you know, all of you don't know me super well, but you're gonna have to take this for what it is. I believe that if I walked across the street in a co-working, if I went to Think Coffee and started Gary Media, that I would put you all out of business pretty quickly. So, I know that's, I know that's, I know that's, I know that's, I know that's a weird thing to say. <laughs> Uh, because I know that I'm being dead fucking serious about what I'm talking about. I'm never scared about us losing our culture. We're not gonna lose our culture because I'm gonna fire everybody who's gonna hurt my culture. Like, so like, I'm not scared of anything other than the most important thing. Time to go? Can I get one more minute? How bad is it? When's the meeting start? <laughs> and how far away am I? And how long's the meeting? Okay, two more minutes. <laughs> Skybox, look at that, look at that, Skybox. <laughs> Where's that, where is that, that sports card thing from that talk? Have you guys seen, have you guys seen me nailing the, on the Daily V, the sports cards? How, do you see my sports card skills? Like how I knew what year and what player? First question is this. What box does this maker belong to? Don Russ? <laughs> what? <laughs> Don't sleep on my skills. Oh fuck, I have no idea who the guy Nolan Ryan shared his rookie card with. Uh, Kuzman? Kuzman is right! What? What? Whose rookie card is this? 
Ernie Banks. Yes! Ernie Banks! Who is this player? Roberto Clemente. And the winner is Roberto Clemente. Guys, guys, you all know me. This is the only thing I gave a fuck about for eight years of my life. <laughs> Think about that much intensity deployed against one little narrow thing. Yeah, you were impressed, right? Zach? Good. Hey, Natalie. What are you doing? I was giving a tour to some interns that just came to see you. Oh. Hey, guys. Hi. How are you? I saw you and I said, oh, yeah. Hey, how are you? I'm Gary. Oh, I'm John. Hey, Saki. Nice to meet you. How are you? Hey, James, how are you? Hey, Thomas. Erica. Erica. Nicholas. Nicholas? Carl. Carl. How are you, man? Real pleasure. Yes. How's the tour going? Great. Good. How's Natalie doing? Wonderful. She's sweet, right? I adore her. Awesome. Have a great weekend. Great day. You been well? Real good. There's so much, so much shit going on now. Like I'm always like, what the fuck? Hey, Em. Hey, guys. How are you? How are your shows? Do you have? Some, do you guys have some hits? How many of you get canceled after the first episode? Are you guys? Are you guys happy with the, the way you're going about it? Fucking Christ, like how fun is it to have this meeting with that view? Awesome, good luck guys, I'll see you later. A bunch of you texted me different shit that I haven't answered, so why don't you before, why doesn't everybody gather up what they need from me, interview questions, like did you see this, musically, like great, all that stuff. Gather all your questions, how much time do I have? Good, you're gonna all roll in. Some, Andy. 5-0, but for the whole kit and fucking caboodle. So everybody round up. Like I'm talking about the texts that are in my thing, like you gotta watch this or approve this, so like make sure it's that, not theoretical like life questions. It's been a busy day. They're all busy, D-Rock. How's everybody doing? Tired. You're tired? I saw you emailing last night at midnight, give me some daps. I love how at 12.30, I'm like responding and you're like scheduling shit, I'm like, Tyler, <laughs> hustling. He's like the anti-Sid. <laughs> Come on, Sid's doing a good job. Dunk, stay quiet. <laughs> you don't want to get caught up in there. Yeah, right. Stay out of this. <laughs> I love that you're a good kid, but you'll get caught up quick in it. What? In the negative vibe of Sid. You don't want to be part of that ecosystem. <laughs> Wait a minute, what's going on with the Jets tickets? Do I have four extras tomorrow? Should I just go into Slack right now and be like, who wants Jets tickets? Oh, Jets tickets. Stay in the You want me to film that all day? What? Film what? I mean, Jet stuff. You can't go and film an NFL game. What are you, out of your mind? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> You're gonna be in the stadium like, hey, like. The iPhone. No, I don't want you to do that. Everybody's also talking about how you related to us. Definitely. I love it, man. You taking your time. My pleasure, man. When are you going back? Uh, Saturday. All right, man. Thank you so much. Like, I think somebody's gonna create a really cool meme that everybody's gonna do. I don't know what takeovers? it. Takeovers. Yeah. I'll leave. I give a fuck about my haircut. I love basketball, but I care about my haircut. I can leave at seven ten. 701. What? Thanks, Britt. Britt's got my back. Clear, I mean, clearly Garrett doesn't care about his haircut, but I do. I just got one more meeting today. A bunch of canceled meetings, so tell him D Rock, you can have a half a day. See ya.